Was you motherfucker crapping? I'm going to be watching this. Was you motherfucker crapping? I came out with my head on, huh? Now we can talk some shit. Well, he sent Laurent book back on my back. It's right to it. Crack so real fast. Shout that fuck old day child. Upset that I'm making this video right now. Nobody picked up the phone. Y'all know I'm in Atlanta. Just a three hour time difference, man. Nobody's picking up the phone. So I'm gonna just send this message to y'all on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, when me, Pootie, and Chark, you know what I'm saying? When we moved to LA, bro, we was all we had. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have no family out there. Like, we was literally all we had, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when you find a group of friends like Flight, like McQueen, like Daryl, like Chiante, like Beetle, like, Z it was just, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody. You form into like more than friends. It's like a family thing at that. And like, I'm a big fan of G Herbo, but also F him at the same time because I asked him for a picture and he, did, he, he just straight up ignored me, but that's for another day. But he had a saying called like NLMB. I believe it was never leave my brother. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, I wouldn't say it's just a girl in the picture, but it's family. It's McQueen's sister. And if I was McQueen, I would be mad too. Because Flight, I don't believe Flight said anything. Mind you, if I'm gonna talk to your sister, I'm gonna be a man and I'm gonna uh, address her like, hey bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of feeling your sister, yada, 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 you know what I'm saying? I treat her good, blah, 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 blah. But my nigga Flight, much respect, that's my dog too. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's another one of my brothers, man. But how you gonna talk to his sister? Nigga, you got Daryl's sister, Daryl's cousin, you got Desiree back in the picture, and you got McQueen's sister. Like, you was that nigga. Like, but Flight, I don't think you're wrong. McQueen, I don't think you're wrong either. I'm just mad at the point that y'all are two of my friends beefing, and I hate negativity around me and just around my, my boys in general, man. Um, y'all are my brother. Like, nigga, we play video games together. Do, nigga, go out, to, nigga. We do a lot of shit together. Hoop together. Talk about our personal issues together. Like, I just don't feel like it's right. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like it's it's really right to just beef, and I hate it, bro. I really hate it. Like. If I was there, I don't know what I would, what I would have done. You know what I'm saying? Besides try to be there for both of them. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. Um, it's kind of hard trying to be there for two people when they both beefing. Cause it's it's kind of like, okay, McQueen, and that's like if Chark and Boot Pooty is beefing, and I'm in the middle. It's just like, damn, y'all both my niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just it's just hard, bro. I don't know what I would have done, but besides be there for both of them um, in the midst of everything. But uh, I am gonna react to this video. I haven't seen the whole thing about it. Got a lot of tweets, messages on Instagram. People's calling Chark fake. Chark is one of the realest niggas I know to ever breathe. Like, if he was still breathing, he would have a lot of oxygen type shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's three o'clock in the morning on the east right now. Uh, my mom is upstairs. Can't be too loud. So um, I know it's sad, guys, but let's go ahead and get into this video. Yeah, I'm back. I got glass to beat. That sound like. Yeah, I'm just a tag. 
you a fight? Yes, me black fool. You walk to the next one now. All right. I heard a lot of people was like talking about how Chark said no, bro. Chark, if you know Chark, Chark would never ever set anybody up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He would never do that. So like everybody else spit like talking hate and shit on my boy, bro. Y'all need to dead that shit because Chark is not like that at all. Bye, guys. Let's go, Shannon. Next. Queen, I'm going to say it. You still with that bitch. I can't wait to go back to LA. Hold this shit, bro. Don't cover the mic, please, bro. You ready? Come on, <laughs> She had to get out on that side. That shit's funny. <laughs> Come on, bro. These, do these dudes doing the one thing challenge. Got me stuck in the back seat. Ah, dang. This is so interesting. Yeah, my podcast, Black Stick. I was in LA right now, I would have been there. You know what I'm saying? I would have been in this situation. I don't know what the fuck I would have done. Cause me, I'm the type of person that's just all fun and all happy and all positive vibes with me. You know what I'm saying? I would have grabbed like, it said, put you know on the vibe. And I would have, and listen, I'm talking a little low cause my mom's upstairs asleep. And that's another reason why I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? I can't do what I want. Mom said I had to be in the house at 2 o'clock in the morning. Dude, mom, like, what the f- I'm young, tired of motherfucking guy with 100,000 on my neck. You know what I'm saying? Why does Chandler have the Asian doll ponytail? Was you motherfucker cribbing? I'm going to be watching this. Was you motherfucker cribbing? Why did you have on your motherfucker grip socks? Man, well, let me end the screen recording, y'all, so I can really talk. Um, man, in all honesty, let me zoom out. In all honesty, man, um, McQueen and both flight, y'all two are the realest thinkers I know. You know what I'm saying? Um, and y'all don't take no shit. It was a situation where me and McQueen was walking the boulevard and some nigga tried him. Nigga was on go like that, bro. Nigga was on go. And it's been a, a situation where we was all out. The flight was the one that was on go. You know what I'm saying? And that's like two, like, enrolled dogs. And like, if you if, if you need somebody to have your back, them are two niggas that are, uh, honestly, everybody in the damn squad is gonna ride for you and have your back, man. Um, It's just crazy to me how, you know what I'm saying? 
two good friends, bro. I literally, nigga, we play Mortal Kombat, Madden, FIFA, 2K, Fortnite. Nigga, we play games. Bro, we do everything together as a unit, bro. So much has been going on since I've been gone, bro. And I hate it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be back home till Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be back home till Tuesday. And it's just driving me nuts, bro. Like me, I feel like I'm I'm a I'm a peacemaker. You know what I'm saying? And it's just sickening me to my stomach to see two of my dogs just just beefing, man. I really don't know, like, bro, I'm lost for words, bro.